Hi, I'm Bob Flisser, and this is one of the lessons for my course on Adobe Photoshop Layers. The vibrance adjustment will make images look more vivid, and it's good for making images look brighter and more colorful. The image I have open is called Red Schoolhouse, and you'll find it in the Chapter 3 folder of the project files. Make sure the background layer here is selected, and up here in the Adjustments panel, Vibrance is at the end of the first row. Kind of looks like a V, doesn't it? Click that and you get this panel here. And even though this is the Vibrance panel, it's not just a Vibrance slider. We also have a Saturation slider. Don't let that confuse you because they work kind of independently. Saturation is actually an older method of doing this, and I want to show you that first. There's even going to be a little problem, and we'll go and fix it. Before you do anything, take a look at the coloring of the sky, grass, and the trees, and also the amount of red in the siding of the schoolhouse. Let's take saturation and drag it up to about 15 or 20. Now you can see the grass, especially over here in the lower right corner. The grass is much more green. It's vivid green. The trees are a lot more green. So those are popping out. But I think the red siding of the schoolhouse is just a little too artificial. The saturation is a little too much. Let's reset down here at the bottom, hit the reset button. Now the vibrance is different from saturation in two regards. Number one, it's more subtle. The other is that it just doesn't have much effect on reds. So let's take this vibrance. I want to drag this up. Let's drag this up to about 30 or so. And again, take a look at the sky, the trees and the grass and toggle the eyeball. And you see the greenery is popping out a little bit more. The sky is a little bit darker, but the red is hardly affected. So now let's go back to saturation and just a dab will do ya. Let's drag that up to about five or so. And now toggle the eyeball and you can see the red of the schoolhouse is brighter. The grass and the trees are brighter. The sky is a little darker. So this gives us richer colors like it's a bright summer day, but without being too overwhelming. If you found this video useful, please check out the full course on SkillFeed. Just click the link below.